folks, for today's video, we are going to do or redo one of my old videos. Now, this video that I am redoing, I did this a few years back and it stemmed from, it was actually kind of like a VR video, uh, stemming from, there was a Reddit post where someone had shown a video clip where a guy was lighting off a little cannon and this little, is a black powder cannon and this little ember floats into the black powder uh, jug which the lid was left open and then just explodes right and so there were a lot of questions about smokeless powder and kind of burn rates and stuff like that and I know that other people on other channels have done similar videos but I did this one a while back the problem with the video I did was that I put some annoying looping music on it and it made it annoying for me to rewatch, as well as I think annoying for some other people to watch. So I'm going to try to get rid of some of that music and redo this video. Anyways, I test a couple of different powders and do record them, the burning in slow motion so you can just kind of see what the different powders do with the different burn rates like rifle powders, magnum pistol powders, and then fast pistol powders, and like a trail boss, and then uh, a black powder substitute. So anyways, I hope you enjoy this video, and uh, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave one. To start out, we'll first burn a black powder substitute. It's a powder made by American Pioneer Powder, and it's the FFFG. And now let's slow that down to a thousand frames per second. Next, take a fast burning pistol powder clays, which is number 11 on the Graf and Sons powder burn rate list. Third, let's try some IMR Trail Boss. This is one of my favorite powders for subsonic shooting and cowboy action type light loads. And this one is located 22nd on the burn rate list. Fourth, let's try a slow magnum pistol powder, like Lil Gun, which I like using in some of my heavy hitting revolver loads, as well as 300 blackout supersonic loads. This powder is located at position 65 on the Graf's burn rate list.
Now finally, I want to use a rifle powder to show the big difference in burn rates between pistol and rifle. So I chose 4064, which is found at the 97th spot on the graph's powder burn rate list. Now the reason the slow motion didn't capture the whole burn of the 4064 powder is because it was so slow and my camera was recording at 1000 frames per second, it can only film a few seconds at that rate. And I found it funny <laughs> that the because of the slow burn and the heat, it actually melted the top of my kid's play table. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and feel free to leave a comment. I always love comments and suggestions and uh, tips and stuff like that. So uh, thanks for watching, stay safe, have fun.